What's up, everybody? My name is Jason, and welcome to Breaking News. SBA lawsuit pending as EIDL portal closes. It is Monday, May the 16th, 2022. Please do me each ever give this video a thumbs up. Hashtag EIDL with your comments below. And don't forget, make sure you join us over at trysmallbiz.com where you can advertise your company for free. Or for just $1 a day, you can be part of no more than 1,000 premium members. Over 137 have jumped forward here in the last few weeks. And yours truly, among other things, will promote you to tens of thousands of people around this country. So be sure to sign up at trysmallbiz.com. And if you're already a member, all you got to do is hit that red upgrade to premium button to reserve your seat today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you did not hear me incorrectly. There is a lawsuit that's being brought forward by the SBA in addition to the fact that the portal is closing at midnight tonight. So before I talk about the lawsuit, go into your portal. Half a dozen documents or so will take you less than five minutes to download. You want those for your record. I do not know because Ms. Guzman has been out for the last two weeks with the C word, and then we heard Chris Van Hollen had a stroke uh, over the weekend while giving a speech, and he's aligned with Big Ben Cardin to get the RRF vote passed tomorrow or Wednesday. So there's a lot of stuff up in the air right now, not the least of which is a lawsuit. So here's what you must do, and I'm going to keep this video short. Log into the portal. If you don't know the link, go Google it. EIDL login. If you forgot your password, it's very easy to get. There's a half a dozen documents. You'll see them towards the bottom of the page. You're going to want to download them. And what's scary, and I've been saying this now for days, there's people logging into the portal seeing a blue button for the first time. And as Ryder pointed out over at Skip last night, the SBA is still funding loans. So even though they've got that ridiculous message that says the funds have been exhausted, I have personally counted over seven and a half million dollars on this channel that has been funded through comments and emails and screenshots we've received over the last seven days. So download the documents before midnight and proceed as if the deadline has not passed. There's a very strong possibility there's going to be an extension. Maybe it's 30, maybe it's 60 days. Maybe they set up a whole new portal and they assign a reconsideration officer to anyone who's been stuck in the portal for over a year to a year and a half. There's a lot of stuff that's being talked about right now and has been for that matter for the last several weeks, which brings me to what I said to open this video. There is a lawsuit. For the record, it is not being brought by yours truly. However, as I've said now for the balance of two years, if it is necessary for me to get behind it and go scorched earth so that everybody watching can get the 10 grand that were promised in the CARES Act with respect to the grant and or reconsideration money now that this portal is going to close at midnight, then that's exactly what I'm going to have to do. But I want to stress this because there are people watching this video. There are 22 people that follow me on Twitter. Excuse me. I follow 22 people. There's over a dozen congressmen and women and staff. Don't ask me why they're following me. But the moral of the story is they're following every single word I say on Twitter. For some reason, I've become somewhat respectable in terms of representing the small business community. And there are a lot of sources that I have, Ryder has, that the great speak and see has at the SBA. So as soon as they see moi put my stamp on a lawsuit, I better be careful because they could block my ass and maybe even counter sue me for libel. You think it's a joke, but it's not. So here's the deal. I will do my homework with respect to this lawsuit and I wanna know which law firm is behind it and how deep they are in terms of recruiting folks that wanna join the lawsuit. And if I make a decision that the SBA is not doing everything necessary in the next several days to get a few thousand people that are stuck in the portal with respect to their idle loan increase, the money that were promised, and if they give us a big F you in terms of the $10,000 grant 
that we got screwed up out of because of that low income policy map, AKA purple zone, then we'll have no choice. But we better be prepared as a community, as a small business family, to get totally cut off by every senator, every congressman and women, every staff member, and folks at the SBA, and that includes Miss Isabel Guzman. And if it does come down to that, my job is going to be a hell of a lot harder informing you as to what you knew, need to do in order to get your money. So I'm praying, I'm hoping that it's not going to be necessary to go scorched earth. We will do our homework. And as you should know by now, I will make a decision that's in the best interest of you and the small business community. So stay tuned for more information on that. I have seen the domain. It has the acronyms, acronym EIDL and I believe Recon in it as well. When I get done with the homework, probably by Wednesday, I will announce it. And then I will hope and pray that I have the right words so that I don't get my ass and ultimately yours in too much trouble if it's not going to be necessary because as I said at the open there's a lot of people that we know at the SBA how the hell do you think we got two million dollar caps 24 months of capital we were talking about that stuff six months or longer before it happened so if I start putting a noose around their neck you can bet your ass they're done talking to me and I may have legal trouble of my own if I say something that's just an inch out of whack because they're following every single word that I say. But I do believe in closing, there is going to be a way for me to say, this is not me that's bringing forward the lawsuit, but you might want to check out www boom. And if you feel that you've been wrong, by all means, add yourself to the list. So before I go, there was a premium member, and this could happen to you for $1 a day at trysmallbiz.com that got shorted on promotion today because we had fun with BBIG. The train wreck known as BBIG announced they're gonna delay their earnings by five days. The stock ran up to 289 and immediately clapped, collapsed to 240 something. I think it's 252 right now. That stock's got more bag holders than anybody I know. It's been nothing but flatlining other than one big move it made to 12 about a year or so ago. 20 million shares went to almost 200 million. You guys want to know why it's not going anywhere or why every rally fails? They've diluted the living shit out of that stock. So every time it starts to take off, here comes warrants being converted or S3 stock to some promoter. It's an absolute joke. So if you want my advice, if it gets anywhere near three or three in small change, get out, say goodbye, move on to something else. Sleep365.com pinned in the description of this video, if you want organic handmade mattresses or bedding from the great state of California, I want you to visit sleep365.com and check out the link in the description. And when you do reach out, make sure you tell them that Jason sent you. So until next time, always remember on behalf of 365sleep.com and yours truly that we love you. And thanks so much for watching.